Hey peeps, welcome back to Project and Automate Fam. In today's video, we're going to unbox and test this Montport 40 watt CO2 laser. So let's get to it. So Montport reached out to us and wanted to send us one of their 40 watt CO2 lasers to test out, do a review, and do some projects with. So let's get to unboxing. It's a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. Some accessories, safety goggles. So what's the difference between your laser you have now and this one? So the laser I have now is what they call a diode laser. And this particular one is a CO2 laser. So this uses a CO2 tube uh, that's water cooled. Uh, but it's much more powerful than what our diode laser is. We should be able to do more projects and use more materials with this one. Plus, this one is fully enclosed and that one is open air. So when it comes to fumes, this one will be able to kind of get the fumes out of the garage. Uh, whereas that one, we have to kind of open the garage and air it out. Uh, but this one also will be enclosed so our eyes will be protected from any potential reflections of laser beam stuff. So uh, anyway, let's keep unboxing. So we are actually gonna put this over there to replace where that laser is sitting simply because the window is right there and we'll be able to easily ventilate out. Um, plus this is kind of in the middle of the garage, but we put it here so we can do some setup and testing. We are also expecting a water chiller as well as an air purifier to come as well, but there's some delays in shipping with that. Uh, but we can still test this out with the existing uh, stuff that comes here. So there is a water pump that comes with this machine and we'll be able to set that up in like a bucket or something just to kind of recycle water that way. Uh, but let's continue setting up. That's the water pump. So the reason for this shade of plexiglass is the laser itself is an invisible infrared laser and this particular shade of color will uh, protect our eyes um, and any other part of our body if part of that beam is reflected outside of this box. So this will protect that possibility. What we need to do here is put a bucket of distilled water to stick these lines in. And I like how it's very clearly labeled so that we know which side we're gonna be feeding in fresh, cool water and which side is gonna be putting out the hot water. So this is the heart of the machine. This is the CO2 laser. And basically the water you can see that this cool water line will go in and cool this laser to keep it functioning at its, at its highest uh, capacity. And then it's just reflected by mirrors. And you see Montport does a good job of pre-aligning your mirrors and then hot gluing them in place so that they don't rattle around in shipping and get out of whack. But we do need to test that to make sure that they are still aligned. All right, so here's under the lid. And you can see everything is uh, nicely controlled and in place. Got some wraps here around wires. And then again, everything is hot glued into place uh, to prevent stuff from separating and shipping. Here's our power supply. Again, pretty nice there. And our control board is right there. And then one cool feature that I was kind of expecting to have issues with is out here, 
Um, people had said that it was kind of difficult to get to the USB-C connector that's on this side because it was a bigger hole, probably a leftover of an older model which had a regular USB. Uh, but this one is obviously, there's, we're not gonna have any issue plugging in a USB-C here. So that's really nice. So another cool feature is right here in the bed. This base plate is removable, and then this acts as a clamp. So you can use this here to put, I don't know, like a coffee mug or something, uh, maybe something a little bit flatter, but if you had a little small box that wouldn't fit otherwise with the bed, you could kind of use this as a clamp to hold it in place. Okay, so what comes with the machine? Um, you've got some four inch ducting that you could kind of duct out of your workspace and we'll probably just put it out the window. A clamp for that ducting, a roll of double-sided tape tube of silicone sealant, power cord, a USB to USB-C connector. Uh, looks like a seven millimeter and five and a half millimeter wrench. Probably could have used that to take the plexiglass off. A separate water pump and connectors and safety goggles. And of course, the user manual. And this little piece to make sure your laser is far enough away from your workspace for focusing. So here, these little green things right there and right there, those are your limit switches. This is how I knew that uh, when it homes itself, it's going to home off of the uh, top left of the machine. You see it touches the limit switch back here when this gantry goes back, just like that. So, that's all set up there. So here on the back of the machine, you can see we have our power and we are in the US and do have uh, ground uh, on this wire, so we don't need this. And then we have our water pump plugged into the back. So the water pump turns on automatically when the machine is turned on. And that water pump is in a bucket of distilled water uh, submersed in there. And that is working just fine. And then finally back here, we have our exhaust tube. Now this is just kind of going out into the garage because um, I don't have it in place just yet, but uh, we're not gonna be burning anything uh, that's gonna be too noxious, so we're gonna leave that alone. And again, just make sure you connect the water inlet uh, to the top of the water pump right there. And then the outlet can just hang up. So this is my setup, USB to my dongle to USB-C into my MacBook. And I'm gonna go ahead and try to add the laser. I have it plugged in. Uh, using this, I can use the uh, connection wizard. Uh, click find my laser, it is connected. And you can see here it's not connecting. I'm going to go ahead and close this and restart light burn. Okay, so I'm going to hit find my laser again. And this time it found it. So I don't know if this is a Mac problem. I did try this on our Windows machine and it connected perfectly fine first try, no issues. This time there's definitely an order of uh, making sure you have everything connected uh, before you start up light burn to get it to read and then using the right cable. So go ahead and click add device. I'm going to go ahead and rename this. And I do have light burn set uh, to default in inches, so that's why that's set there. It does home in the rear left of the machine, and you can find that uh, based off of where the limit switches are on your machine. And I do want it to auto home on startup. There it is. So now if I go to console, we can see if we are connecting. I'm going to go ahead and restart Lightburn to see if I can get a good connection. And just like that, now, now we are connected, everything's fine. Again, I think this is uh, a Mac issue uh, because we have not had any issues on our Windows machine getting things to connect. But I can now control the machine um, using Lightburn on my Mac, which is great. Some other things to point out is this dial here, which is your ammeter, 
will basically let the machine, this is like a manual dial for how strong the laser can be. This is also controlled in the software as far as how powerful you want the laser output to be. So you really need to turn this all the way up to 100 if you ever want to use the controls in a computer. Uh, and I say that because if you have it at 50% here, if you put 50% into your software, you're really telling the machine to only output 25% because it's gonna do 50% of what this setting is. So turn this dial all the way up and then control it in the software. Or don't do any, leave it at 100% in your software and use the, dent, the dial manually. Either way, an issue we found is that this uh, power LCD temperature doesn't always work. Um, it sometimes turns on, it sometimes doesn't. Um, for me, the important temperature to have is our water temperature. And this one seems to work when the machine is not firing, um, but it will kind of glitch uh, as the machine is going. I'll show a clip of that. So the laser is firing right now. And this little ammeter shows you know, that it is firing out there. And you can see that these uh, temperature displays are quite useless uh, while it's firing. Uh, but right now it seems to be fine and working, but this one's not. Uh, but occasionally it will turn on and I'm not really sure why. Another issue to point out is this board here, which is great, it seems to work fine. Uh, but you can see that there's a power switch right here on the board and when we got the machine the power was turned off and I couldn't get it to connect to anything um, until I opened this up and saw oh the power is turned off I'm not really sure why they would ship it from the factory with with this turned in the off position and I'm not really sure why but uh, that is uh, something to look out for as well as uh, the reason we had to look is because the instruction manual is not for the same board. So here's the instruction manual that came with the machine and you can see by paint scheme alone that's not this laser. You can see that the top panel here is completely different than our top panel and the board that they have listed in here and software and everything is completely different. So there's a picture of the board. Um, this I believe is just from an older model and not really sure why uh, I think uh, Montport can improve by uh, updating this instruction manual to be for this engraver because uh, it kind of threw us off. First project, I think I'm gonna just do something simple. What's cool is Lightburn, we can do kind of the same things that we do in other software. And I wanna change the font, stencil. So I'm gonna try cutting this out. I think that would be pretty cool. settings to figure out because we burn that way too much but yeah it definitely cuts this is uh, eighth inch MDF yeah, is a mess you can see it charred Ooh, rough we got some adjustments to do just using some isopropyl alcohol and clean it right up All right, so we adjusted the speed and the power this time, but I'm not sure if it actually cut all the way through. If I pick it up and it loses position, I can't run it in the same spot again, but I guess we gotta see, huh? Nope. Looks like I adjusted a little bit too much. Almost the way through. Let's see how far. But if I did one or two more passes, I could have gone all the way through. That's okay. Let's try it again. Um, third time? Fourth 
time. Oh, fourth. Well, it's not quite there. So I finally got the mom port laser in the final location we want it to be in, just so it's by like a window so we can kind of ventilate it. Yeah, so we got the vent going out the back, out the window there, so that we're not going to be smoking up the garage. Um, but I'm super excited to start using this laser for more projects and mm, more videos. Yeah, so we're excited to use it. We'd like to thank you, mom port, for sending this to us. And if you want 6% off one of your orders, you can use our discount code in the description below. And that helps our channel too, so really appreciate that. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like it if you liked it. Like it. Subscribe if you enjoy our content. Subscribe. And turn on those notifications so you get my every single time we post a video. Stay happy. And be happy. Bye.